You love it? Holy oh, gosh. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Bex and this is my channel. Typically we go antiquing, thrifting, and sometimes we do a little home decor because I own an antique booth here at the Strasburg Emporium. We're doing things a little differently this time around. I wasn't sure how I was going to film this video besides filming myself redo my booth. I didn't really narrate this and it's just because this was a labor of love and I needed to focus as much as possible on doing what I did. <laughs> By now you've already seen that this video is titled something like flipping my booth or redoing my antique booth or something along those lines. And that's what we're doing today. Well, not today, but over the next few days, that's what we're doing. Let's take a look at that and then we'll do a final reveal. Day one and we are getting started. My main goal for this booth reset is to not necessarily change the layout, but changing the design. My intentions of having a booth with a dark academia vibe is not working for what I'm selling, which is my hand painted signs and a lot of clothes. So I'm leaning more towards the vibe of an industrial design. I feel I'll be able to work with that the most, as well as gain the attention to the majority of clientele that shop at this location. Thankfully, there is a booth that is open across from me and management is allowing me to move a majority of my inventory into that booth until I am able to put it back in my booth for the next few days. I am sad to see this dark academia vibe go, but I think I'm going to bring some things home and redo my office. So we're not saying goodbye to everything just yet. This wallpaper was a fun idea and it did its purpose but it did not stick to this wall. I'm not sure if it's because I purchased a bad batch or if the holes in the walls kept it from sticking properly. Unfortunately, it was just not the vision I wanted and I'm very glad to remove it. I got special permission to paint my booth this color. Believe it or not, they don't usually recommend you paint your walls black. I think it's because I've changed my booth so many times management knows that I'll paint over it and I'll be the one that deals with the black paint if I decide to move or expand my space.
So I didn't get a video of me bringing in or working on my main wall. This is one of those times where I really needed to focus on what I was doing and camera angles were not on my mind. Thankfully, the general manager was available to help me hang everything. You love it? Oh, yes. <laughs> I told Millie, I was like, it's his, it was his idea. I had one more brick thing outside, so I'll put, I'll measure this side here, and I'll measure that side there, so that's a complete like, brick wall. And then I'll kind of fit, take some paint and fade it over so it still looks like okay. patchy and stuff, but. <laughs> you need to send a picture of that to Paul. Okay. When I finish it, I want him to see when it's done. Now that the booth is painted and my main art piece is hung, I'm going to bring in some big furniture pieces so I can think about what I need to do for tomorrow. Good morning! Today we finished the brick paneling on the back wall, which includes touch-ups, painting, and a lot of math. And yes, I did bring my own tools to the Emporium. I was not in the mood to drive back and forth between my house and this location just for some brick paneling.
Now that I finished the back wall, I'm going to bring in some more big pieces and try to make my booth layout work. This process is a lot of moving furniture and staring at the floor. You'll see me start to get a little discouraged and concerned, so I move around a lot. My dear friend Jody from Shenandoah Style came to visit me while I was working on my booth. After talking to her about my concerns on the layout and where to put things, she took the time to come help me and encourage me with the new design. I will tag her Instagram down below. Make sure you follow her and her business partner, Tammy. They have the best Victorian and Civil War era antiques that you have to check out. And now it's day three. Today is going to be filled with a lot of last minute ideas, touch up, organizing, and cleaning. Feel like I belong, trying to keep it alive, I'm just on the inside. 
Hey guys, it's the last day that I'm working on my booth and I'm just gonna do a couple of little touch-ups of some things here and there and then we'll do a final reveal. hope you like how I flipped my booth and I hope you like the final result. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. There will be more just like it, as well as adventures to other locations and events. Until next time, kiss kiss. Okay, thanks. Bye.